Hey folks, Winston for Carbide3D here. Today I want to give you an overview of the installation process for our inductive homing switch kit. This kit is available now bundled with a Z Plus or HDZ upgrade kit and will also be available separately in a couple weeks. These inductive switches are intended to replace the mechanical switches that were standard on machines with the now discontinued belt-driven Z axis, and the new injection molded mounting brackets make everything easier to install with less hardware. Here's where each homing switch is installed. For the X-axis, the old setup with an aluminum bracket, standoffs, and extra long M5 hardware are being replaced with an injection molded bracket that holds the homing switch off to the side. The face of the sensor should point downwards and clear the Y-axis carriage plate by about 1-2mm. to two millimeters. It does not need to make direct contact with the metal plate in order to register. A handy feature about these switches is that they have an integrated LED so you'll know when they're triggered. On the Y-axis, we are again replacing standoffs in laser-cut aluminum with a single injection molded piece. The Y-axis homing switch should be installed so that the sensing face is directed at the inner face of the rear frame. You should roll the gantry all the way to the back and ensure that your switch does not extend past your Y-axis carriage plate. One of the biggest benefits of inductive switches is that they trigger at a distance, and because of that they can be positioned in such a way that it's much harder to crush or damage them. Moving on to the Z-axis, the Z Plus was designed from the start to be used with an inductive homing switch, so there's nothing you really need to do here. On the HDZ, we have a bracket that extends forward from behind the main plate to hold a switch over the Z-axis carriage plate. It secures to the back with a single M4 screw. In your upgrade kit, you'll also find some additional pieces to support the drag chain. The smaller brackets with a 90 degree bend and through holes are designed to be installed on rails that have pre-drilled holes in them. The brackets with threaded inserts are for use at the ends of the drag chains. The longer, right angle brackets are used for attaching the drag chains to the carriages. For older machines that don't have pre-drilled holes in the rails, we include brackets and VHB tape that can be used to support the drag chains where they may overhang the rails. Alcohol wipes should be used to clean the mating surfaces to ensure proper adhesion. Because these inductive switches are powered, they require three leads. In your upgrade kit, there will be a riser board that you can plug the switches into. That board then plugs into the single 16-pin connector adjacent to the original two-pin homing switch connectors. You can then power on the machine and verify that all your switches are working by holding a piece of metal to the face of the sensor. If you have any difficulty installing your inductive homing switch kit, we will be posting instructions to document the installation steps, and you are of course always welcome to reach out to our team at support at carbide3d.com. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.